So locate your Y motor. That's the one with the medium length cable. And position that underneath the Y motor mount. You'll use four M3 bolts to, to attach that to the bracket. It works best to get the four bolts started before tightening them all down. And they just need to be snug so that you don't deform the bracket. So next, locate your Z motors. Those will have the threaded rod and the Z nut. To prepare those, you want to get a can of silicone spray. Make sure that this silicone spray is plastic safe and then you'll just spray across the threads before we unthread everything. If you do encounter any spots of resistance, you'll want to take a wire brush and just clean out the teeth until that you can run the nut up and down and it runs smooth. Do that to both of the Z-nut drives. To make sure that the Z-nut is well lubricated is to just attach or chuck it into a drill and then just hold the Z-nut and run it all the way back down. So once the Z-rods are well lubricated, everything is working, and you can insert those into the frame. With the cable pointing towards the back. And again that mounts with four M3 bolts. These are eight millimeter bolts. So want to make sure that's flush and just uh, get these in snug. Do that with both sides. And then do the final tightening just by hand. And those are ready to go. Next step will be the Y rods. For the next step, locate all of the rods. We're going to install the Y rods first, which are the medium length rods. The longest ones are the X, the next longest ones are Y, and then the shorter ones are the Z. So to prepare the rods, we're going to spray some silicone onto a paper towel. and just use that to wipe down the rods. This cleans them and then also puts a thin film of silicone on the rod to help the bearings. Then locate your bearings and a limit switch holder. And put two bearings on each rod Make sure that the bearing slides smoothly. 
if you feel any grindingness or resistance, either the bearings inside need to just get rolling and lubricated or swap out to a different bearing. You want your best bearings to be on your Y rods. Insert or slip the limit switch holder or bracket onto the rod that's going to go onto the left side and the limit switch goes to the back. That holder bracket is held in place with an M3 bolt. And it just needs to be tight enough that you can still move it around but it's not going to fall off. Then you can insert the rod through the front and push it back into the holder on the back. Do the same on the other side. You may need to use a mallet. You can then take the two rod holders for the Y axis and pop them on to the front of the printer. So it should be flush. securing the rods into place. The limit switch bracket will go to the back. Once we uh, mount the limit switch on there, we'll tighten this up and lock it into place. Next step is to use the Z rods and perform the same cleaning step that you did on the Y rods. Do that on the Z. and then insert them into the Z-Rod holders. And now get your second limit switch holder, which goes on the back left Z-Rod. And again, is secured with an M3 eight millimeter bolt. Just snug it for now and take four bearings making sure that the bearings glide easily.